we were on our way to town to stock up on our supplies for the month. As we were coming out of the country off a long dirt road, there was woods on each side of the road with hills and hollows that we had to go up and through. And this was late in the evening when we started out to town. And the sun was setting. There was no lights on this road. But the night, it was a full moon. And the truck lights beamed. As we passed a little creek on the side of the road, we seen a pair of amber eyes walking through the creek. And the eyes was about eight feet off the ground. And it seemed to be walking on two feet like a human would. But this couldn't be no human because we come through here all the time and there was large ass snakes and other things we had seen a snake once swallow a whole hog there was some deep wide five feet ditches that a human couldn't walk across and this whatever it was was stepping over these ditches with ease we didn't know what we was looking at, but it came all the way through that creek. As we were watching this thing, it ran across the road right in front of us with a large deer over its shoulder. We hit our brakes as we slid to a stop before hitting this massive beast that stood a couple of feet over the truck as it stared at us and growled. And cross the road in three long strides and was gone out of our sight through the fields at a rapid speed that we couldn't believe. This thing had pointed ears and a snout like a large German shepherd standing at eight feet tall and it was on two powerful legs and of all things, it had the deer over its shoulder like it was a rabbit. It was massive and very powerful looking. And out of all these years of us staying out here, we never seen anything like that before. We had always heard deep howling in the woods that surrounded the land. Now we know where it was coming from. That damn thing was a dog, man, for sure. Now, we checked the fields more, but we never seen that canine creature again. Thank God. But the howls are still being heard at night, a short distance in these woods that surrounds our land. And we keep our guns at the ready at all times because it's getting closer and closer every night. Thank you.